Uh, so we're going to talk about two topics I didn't list quickly. We're going to talk about China and Bitcoin. Uh, and because Ali said I should talk about China and Bitcoin and Ali knows her stuff. So, uh, you know, hopefully, hopefully you'll listen to Ali uh, during this thing. So China, Bitcoin, as you know, as I think you've read, probably China has banned everything associated with Bitcoin. Uh, they have banned trading in Bitcoin, ownership of Bitcoin. They've tr banned mining Bitcoin. Uh, they have they have basically um, uh, banned um, everything um, uh, associated with Bitcoin. They they are uh, afraid, I think, uh, that as the Chinese economy declines, and and I, I'm going to do soon. I'm going to do a whole show on on China because I think there's a whole this whole thing that the it, it seems to me that most people are completely missing about China right now, and that's the decline of China. And uh, so there is, um, <clears throat> they're afraid that as the Chinese economy uh, declines, the wealthy in China will use Bitcoin to move money out of the country. Uh, and, uh, you know, China, I've, uh, no, Bitcoin, I've always said, is its value, gains its value for one's ability to use it to engage in illegal activities. And maybe the most important illegal activity of all is the ability to, to, to get around capital controls, to get around restrictions that your government places on you in terms of moving your money around. And Bitcoin is a way of doing that. Um, and uh, uh, Joey says that they banned all crypto, not just Bitcoin. And, and it makes complete sense because they don't want you to use an anonymous uh, uh, electronic uh, currency or, well, mechanism. Not, it's not a currency yet, but it's a mechanism. They want, they want you to use a, they don't want you to use an anonymous, uh, have access to an anonymous uh, mechanism by which you can get money out of the country without them knowing about it. Uh, so it's, it's super interesting that the Chinese are panicking this badly. Uh, it's not a good sign for crypto, although what it will do, uh, you know, the, it, when it was announced, the price went down and then it bounced up again. And I think the reason it bounced up again is that people realize that this actually, in a sense, increases the value of crypto. Because why does it increase the value of crypto? Because the Chinese uh, Chinese businessmen, Chinese wealthy, are going to um, be willing to pay a lot of money for crypto. To the extent that crypto facilitates their ability to move money out, facilitates their ability to you know, uh, um, be anonymous to the government, not not to be seen by the government, not for the for the monetary transactions, not to be seen by the government. To that extent, they're going to want more of it, and I think some countries might be now afraid that their governments will um, will outlaw crypto, and in 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 that case, then people in those countries might be there might be a, a heavy demand for crypto. So I expect that the price action yesterday in crypto where it bounced back uh, is primarily it, 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 the primary responsibility for that was people buying crypto as, as a uh, defense against the possibility of their own governments including Chinese people their own governments um, outlawing the crypto so it's um, you know that's that's my hypothesis but uh you know, it's it's interesting that China did this. Uh, I think ultimately you're going to see more countries do it. I think the United States is taking a different path. I think the U.S. seems to be taking a path that suggests that they want to regulate it and control it and tax it and, it, as I said, regulate it. So uh, we will see. We will see. I mean, crypto, crypto's ability to stay... Uh, vibrant, anonymous, uh, to uh, be able to facilitate large movements of, of currency, of, of, of funds, um, is going to be challenged in the months and years to come as countries start shutting down uh, and, and finding ways to control it. It's, it's always been my biggest issue with crypto and that is i think the false belief that many in the crypto community have that they are beyond the arm of governments and i i, I think they will discover they are not but 
let's see uh, how uh, let's see how uh, the, uh, the what the response is like to uh, China and uh, how this plays out vis-a-vis the Chinese. But it is it is one of the most interesting stories of the week, and again, I, I think very much a sign, another sign. There, there are lots of signs. Another sign that the Chinese are panicking. The, the, the Chinese economy is not going to be growing very fast in the, in the, in the, in the months and years to come. Uh, China is clamping down on those activities and, and those sectors and those geographical areas that facilitated its large, its, its significant, substantial economic growth. And um, it's now clamping down on those and the consequence of that is that economic growth is going to go away so uh, it, it really is interesting I think China is going to be turn out to be an economic paper tiger uh, a significant e- economic paper tiger um, so uh, yeah how exactly the Chinese are going to be able to ban crypto monitor that control that I don't know I'm not technical enough to be able to tell you that but given how much control they have over the internet service providers over the infrastructure of the internet within china it'll be easier for them than it would be in the united states although again even here i think if the government wants to regulate this if they really really want to tax it they'll figure out a way thank you for listening or watching the iran brook show if you'd like to support the show we make it as easy as possible for you to trade with me. You get value from listening. You get value from watching. Show your appreciation. You can do that by going to yourownbookshow.com slash support, by going to Patreon, subscribe star, locals, and just making a appropriate contribution uh, on any one, of those, uh, any one of those channels. Also, if you'd like to see the Your Own Book Show grow, please consider sharing our content and, of course, subscribe press that little bell button right down there on YouTube so that you get an announcement when we go live. And for those of you who are already subscribers and those of you who are already supporters of the show, thank you. I very much appreciate it.